I'd like to talk about the material used in Innova kayaks that distinguishes us from other boats that are available on the market. And the first material used on our boats is that it's a rubber coated material. Well, rubber is sort of a generic name, and I wanted to specifically define what that means in the case of our boats. This, uh, this is a piece of the natural rubber that I actually got from the factory. They do the, the coating of their own fabrics, and they start off in an industrial kitchen that uses this latex rubber. It's actually the sap out of a rubber tree. And they mix this with some chemicals to actually make a rubber concoction that's spread over the polyester fabric that forms the reinforcement on our boats. And why this is uh, a particularly good coating is that it allows us to do a couple of things. One is that uh, it allows the uh, seams to be made in a vulcanized uh, construction. And here I have a cut open small chamber that shows the blended natural rubber on the inside and an air holding seam which has a piece of backing tape on it forming a kind of T. And the way this is actually made is uh, that the natural rubber in its raw state is so sticky that it wants to stick to itself and so they'll take a top and a bottom section of the chamber, put out the, uh, the backing tape on each of the seams and uh, have a release agent which is this white powder on those portions that they don't want to stick together. They'll put the, uh, the chamber together, roll the seams down flat and put it onto essentially a large pizza tray and put it into a retort oven cooking the natural rubber so it vulcanizes together much like a tire does in your car. So the seams are not glued, they're not welded, they're actually chemically bonded together as one piece of rubber. Now the other, other main advantage to the uh, rubber coating uh, in this fabric is that rubber is more naturally elastic than competing materials like the commonly used vinyl or PVC, polyvinyl chloride. And why that's important is that rubber is naturally stretchy. I can take this raw piece of rubber and it's, it's like a ball. I can squeeze it, I can pull it, and it will be elastic and return to its natural shape. In the same way, the coating, the nitrolon coating on this fabric is very elastic and so when I take a hard object and try to scratch this, like a barnacle, uh, it will stretch and then snap back to its original position. Where vinyl coatings, being less elastic like shower curtains, uh, will tend to not snap back and cut. So there's more abrasion resistance with this material. Uh, and, as well, greater ultraviolet resistance. And then lastly, because we're building all of these materials from the original natural rubber sap from trees, uh, you've got a much uh, greener product in that, uh, unlike the vinyls, it's inert once you've made it. It doesn't give off any gases, it's inert in landfills, uh, and uh, will not cause any kind of chemical problems to the environment. Whereas your polyvinyl chlorides, your vinyl boats, your PVC boats, all names to describe the same process, uh, are frowned upon in, uh, amongst environmentalists because they will give off dioxins in the course of their manufacture, in the lifetime of the boats, and ultimately in their disposal.